Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group and Insurance Agent David Hughes, the Fay West Glass Company, the C. Harper Auto Group, First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County, K2 Engineering, Casey Sports Cafe, M&R Transit, Peach and Pharmacy, Ford of Union Town, the Radicals Law Firm, Shop and Save, Walnut Hill Plaza, Union Town, Union Town Detailing, State Farm Agent Lauren Yeoman, SWGI, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, Gary's Auto Sales, Attorney Melinda Delarose, Movement Physiotherapy, Zen's Construction Warehouse, The Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, Joby's Golf, The Union Town Printing Press, Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair, The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood, Mama Ruka's Pizza Shop, Novacare Rehabilitation, Union Town Mayor Bill Gerke, Allstate Agent Russ Blaho, Target Safety Solutions, Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Wood at Watson Mundorf MLP, The Bruce and Chiropractic Studio, Megan Ford, Potter's Bar and Grill, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, Stewart Collision, Attorney Vincent T. Berry, Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning, George Dental Associates, Auto Land Hyundai, the Lansley Academy of Dance, Car Nuts, State Representative Charity Grim Krupa, the Geibel Catholic High School, and by Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer. Now stay tuned for the Browns Insurance Group pregame show here on WMBS. From Laurel Highlands High School, it's time for girls WPIL High School basketball playoff action. A 4A first round matchup as the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs, number five seed, host the 12th seeded Quaker Valley Quakers. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hinola, Billy Dice behind the camera, and our Facebook Live video feed. And Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Our pregame show being brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group. And insurance agent David Hughes will get you ready for the game. They're located at 217 West Main Street in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-9812 for the Sprouse Insurance Group. Our live video stream tonight, courtesy of State Representative Charity Grim Krupa and Ted Sova and Son, Body and Fender Repair. Laurel Highlands 18-2 overall, 10-2 out of Section 3 and 4A. Stuart Davis in his second year as the Mustangs head coach. Quaker Valley 5-15 overall, 5-5 five five out of Section 2, 4A play. Ken Johns in his third year as the head coach of the Quakers. And Tony, Laurel Highlands looking for their first playoff win since they won a preliminary round game back in 2011 over Mars and looking for their first main draw win since 1998. And a very tough task here as well, Brian. They're facing a Quaker Valley team who <laughs> the records are a little deceiving. They came in at 5-15 and 15 overall, but I was reviewing their schedule a little bit, and they've actually played 16 playoff teams out of the 20 games that they have played. So, you know what, they're going to come in with a lot of experience, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to imagine as well that they're going to be pretty healthy, And plus having six-foot Uma Thierro in there, too, doesn't hurt either for the Quaker Valley Quakers. A really historic season for Laurel Highlands, just two losses, both against section foe Elizabeth Ford, and even more impressive when you consider the size of the Lady Mustangs roster. But the size of the Lady Mustangs roster, but the other thing is there's no seniors on this team. So, like I said, you've got a lot of action coming back as well. They're starting four – I'm sorry, they have four freshmen, two sophomores, and three juniors in this lineup. So, you know – it's Stu Davis has some things to look forward to now and even next year. You mentioned Quaker Valley's leading scorer. They call her Mimi Thierro. Averages 19.4 points a game, 14.2 rebounds a game. Her brother, Adu, averages over seven points a game as a sophomore playing at Kentucky, and he had a huge game on Saturday against Auburn. Had a huge game and actually led this Quaker Valley team to the WPL Championship his senior year, and he was actually the third leading scorer in Quaker Valley history for the boys. So a lot, of, a lot of basketball lineage in that family. And the Quakers have a pretty good playoff history over the years as well. They've played at least three playoff games per year over the last five years. Yeah, and, and as you mentioned, this is the sixth consecutive year that they've made the playoffs. So like I said, it's one of those things where you know the Quaker Valley is going to be in. You know they're disciplined, and it's one of those things where the Mustangs are going to have to stay out of foul trouble tonight to pick up a win. You really have to credit Stu Davis for this Mustang turnaround, and we've talked about the Quakers program playing in at least three playoff games over the last five years. Well, before Stu took over, the Laurel Highlands program had just five wins over three seasons, and now they're in the WPIL playoffs for a second straight year and hosting a playoff game. Right, had 11 wins with them last year, and this year, as you said, 18-2 and two coming in, and really, the, you know, the only struggles that they had were against a very good Elizabeth forward team who's ranked, th I'm sorry, who's seeded third in 4A in the playoffs. So, like I said, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting game here for the Mustangs and the Quakers tonight. And, of course, the winner takes on number four Highlands in the quarterfinals on Friday and also guarantees themselves an opportunity to play into the PIAA playoffs as well. Remember, it was Highlands that knocked Laurel Highlands out of the WPIL playoffs in the 
in the first round last year. Yeah, I do remember that, and that's one of those things where, like I said, you got a little more experience under your belt here tonight, and like I said, I'm sure that Coach Stu Davis is going to be ready. He's had these teams, they've had a little bit of break so that they had some rest, had some things to figure out, able to scout this Quaker Valley team, and uh, like I said, looking for a pretty good performance here tonight. Should be a fun one tonight when our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show continues. We'll talk to Laurel Highlands head coach Stuart Davis and Ken Johns, the head coach of the Quaker Valley Quakers here on WMBS. I'm Bill Martin, and along with my partner, Trip Radcliffe, and Rob Harper, are attorneys at Radcliffe Martin Law. Our primary focus at Radcliffe Martin Law is representing people hurt in accidents. However, we handle workers' compensation claims, estate planning, real estate matters, and class actions. Radcliffe Martin Law is your hometown firm that offers conveniences not possible with Pittsburgh firms and provides better service than those firms. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. 724-439-3939. Primer Rosak back here on the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show. It's girls high school basketball playoff action on WMBS tonight. Laurel Highlands hosting Quaker Valley, being joined by Laurel Highlands head coach Stuart Davis. And Stuart, you enter the postseason with only two regular season losses. Both of those occurred against Elizabeth Ford. And if you look at where this program was just a couple of years ago, you have to be very happy with all that you've accomplished here during the 2023-2024 season. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the girls bought in last year. Actually, they, um, last year was just last year's uh, team was learning how to win. This year's team actually know how to close out a game. And, you know, it's a group of um, a good group of girls. Um, they generally like each other. They like playing with each other, um, and you can you can see it on the floor. How special is it now to have a home playoff game? Oh man, it's, it's, it's a big turnaround from last year. You know, um, being able to play home. Uh, as of this this season, we are what uh, thirteen and one on the home court. Um, so you know, I like our chances. Talk about the matchup with Quaker Valley. Uh, Quaker Valley uh, have a have a nice have a nice big girl. She's about six four. She's a sophomore. Um, handle the ball, shoot the ball. I mean, she's tough. You know, the surrounding cast. Uh, you know, they lean on her a lot. You know, they lean on her for defensive. They lean on her for rebounding. They lean on her to bring the ball up the floor. Uh, so, you know, it, it looks like our challenge is, you know, we just got to make sure we contain her, um, and we should be fine. You mentioned the arrow. Obviously, she comes from a good pedigree when her brother plays college basketball at Kentucky. Yeah, absolutely. She comes from good stock, man. I mean, mom, dad, you know, brother. Uh, so, obviously, you know, come, you know, she's only a sophomore, and she, she's going to continue to get better. Uh, by our senior year, man, I could see her, you know, being very, very dominant. You guys got seeded fifth. Did you kind of think you maybe should have had a four seed, just you know, due to the fact you had only two losses so far this year? Well, I don't, I don't really look at it. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me as much. Um, you know, looking at our schedule, I mean, I, I can understand why they put us fifth. I mean, we, we, you know, we did play some six A teams, some, uh, I mean, some five A teams. We did get uh, the win um, against them, uh, five eight teams. But the problem was the five eight teams that we played didn't make the playoffs. You know, and so if you look at you know Holland's record, they actually played some five eight teams that are, are in the playoffs, if not first seed. You know, what I mean? so their, their schedule is a little bit stronger than ours uh, as far as road. And I, I understand it. I understand how it works. And you know, we just you know, it is what it is. And if you are able to get a win over Quaker Valley, obviously a possible rematch uh, looms there with. Uh, Highlands coming up. That'll be on Friday night. That's rematch season, man. Um, that's that's what our motto is this year. Uh, we go back down to Highlands if we get past uh, Quaker Valley, and you know, I like I like where we sit right now. Um, just going there could be a, a huge upset because uh, they have they have Highlands, you know, obviously ranked ahead of us. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's rematch season, man, and that's what we're here for. And also give yourselves an opportunity to at least guarantee yourselves a few more games as well because you get the win over Quaker Valley. Even if you would lose to Highland, you still have an opportunity to play your way into the state tournament. That would be huge as well. That's big for the program. Um, just getting into, just getting, like you said, just getting a home game for, for the Whippeal. Uh, and then we get we get the first game during the states. Um, that's big for my girls. You know, we're, we're considerably we're young. Um and I get everyone back next year. So they'll be seasoned and ready for, you know, next year. Uh, getting this experience, you know. Again, uh, you know, summertime of the off season, we're going to continue to work. They, they're already talking about it. And they're eager um, to get in the gym. Uh, it's a good thing. 
I do appreciate your time. As always, best of luck. We'll see you out there on Tuesday. Okay, thank you. That's the head coach of the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustang, Stuart Davis. We'll talk to Quaker Valley's head coach, Ken Johns, on the Sprouts Insurance Group. Pre-game show continues right after this. NovaCare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one sessions, NovaCare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Masontown office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Go to Ford of Uniontown and trade me in. John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from your seven-time President's Award-winning Ford of Uniontown. Dominic, let's kick this President's sale up a few notches. John, listen to this. We are taking up to seven thousand dollars off twenty-three F-150s. Or get this: one point nine financing up to seventy-two months, and that's on all models: XLs, XLTs, Larrys, and more. Sale excludes tremors and Raptors. By the way, all twenty-four edges we are taking up to three thousand dollars off with one thousand in rebate and zero percent APR for forty-eight months. Point nine for sixty months, and only two point nine for seventy-two months. And JC, I just checked, and we have over eighty pre-owned on the lot right now, ready to move. Most are certified with factory warranty. Cars, trucks. SUVs, we got them. Just a reminder, we now offer online maintenance appointments, and don't forget our pickup and delivery service. We simply pick the vehicle up at your home or office, bring it here to complete the service, and return the vehicle back to you. Easy like Sunday morning. The presidents know, shouldn't you? That's 40 Uniontown on top of the hill across from Applebee's or 40uniontown.com. Most funny supplementary credit and not all buyers will qualify. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Bad hair day, bad day at the office. Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprouls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. The Davis and Davis Law Firm has been helping injured people in Fayette County for over 45 years. If you've been injured and you need an attorney, call today. One of our six attorneys will come and meet with you if your situation is such that you can't come to us. We will not rest until we get the maximum amount of money for you that you deserve. I'm attorney James Davis, and I will fight for you. Call me today at 724-437-2799. Charity Grim Krupa, State Representative for the 51st District. I want to wish all of our local teams the best of luck in the WPIAL basketball playoffs. I also want to invite you to our hard to read license plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, we can help you fill out the paperwork for a free replacement. I will also be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. I hope to see you there. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be. In the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy. Your local pharmacy. Quaker Valley head coach Ken Johns now joins us here on the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show. It's the Quakers at the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs tonight. Girls 4A WPIL high school basketball playoff action here on WMBS this evening. And Ken, your Quaker Valley program sits at 5-15 and 15 overall entering this matchup with Laurel Highlands. We've certainly played a tough schedule so far this year. Well, we knew coming in that it was going to be different than years prior. We were very young. Um, our non-section schedule was set up for some other teams in prior years where we had some more experience so we knew there was going to be some tough sledding early on um, but we also felt like seeing what we saw over the summer and in the preseason if we just uh, 
to keep everybody together and connected that we were going to grow throughout the season. And that's, that's what happened. We had a goal of getting into the playoffs at the start of the year. So that, um, you know, we, we got there, which is good. Uh, hasn't been without some challenges, but I feel good about how the team has come together in the last couple of weeks. We've been playing, um, as good a basketball as we have all season. So. Talk about Mimi Thierro's play. Obviously, her brother playing at Kentucky. She comes from a pretty good pedigree. Absolutely. I mean, Mimi, beyond just being a great basketball player, she's just a great kid. And so having her on the team um, is fantastic. She makes the people around her better. Uh, one, one of the underrated parts of her game um, that people don't see until you watch it is that she sees the floor very well. She's a very good passer. She, she really helps us out in that capacity as well. But, you know, when you're getting 20 points a game and double-digit rebounds a game, um, that makes a big difference uh, for a young team. Uh, and, yeah, she's just uh, – I mean, I, it, I don't have enough good things to say about her. Like, she, she's just – I think the, the sky's the limit for her. She continues to work. And she's done a lot for us this year, um, not just that the, you know, play on the floor, but, um, like I mentioned, helping the other kids get better and also um, seeing things on the floor and, and talking to her throughout the game. Um, has been fantastic. We talk about the matchup with Laurel Highlands. They had only two losses so far this year, both of those against Elizabeth Forward, but they, they probably haven't played as tough of a schedule as uh, your program has so far this year. Yeah, I mean, we, we've watched them. They're good. Um, they've got size. Uh, the, the people who can shoot, the point guard's very good. Like, it's going to be a tough matchup. It's not a surprise that they won that many games. I know Elizabeth Ford is very good, so, um, you know, they take those losses for what they're worth, uh, it's going to be a tough matchup for us. Um, uh, you know, Boston also know that uh, what they bring to the table is balance inside and outside scoring, a little bit of driving. Uh, they defend very well. I mean, they're not giving up very many points a game. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to have our hands full for sure. That's Quaker Valley head coach Ken Johns. The Quakers taking on the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs. Girls high school basketball playoff action here on WMBS tonight. If you missed it last night, we had the Geibel Lady Gators in action against Eden Christian. We'll have a recap of that game with Nick Barcheck when the Sprouts Insurance Group per game show continues right after this. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 61st year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Sova and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Sova and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Sova and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Take it from me, Matt Sapienza, an actual satisfied customer. Call 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Family owned and operated for 61 years. Always proud to support local high school sports. The Laurel Highlands Girls Basketball Boosters would like to wish head coach Stuart Davis and the Lady Mustangs the best of luck in the playoffs. The Laurel Highlands Girls Basketball Boosters works year-round to fund the girls' basketball program. The funds collected by the Boosters help support trips and banquets held for the basketball team. To find out how you can help contact Becky Irwin, a special thank you to all of the businesses and individuals that have donated to the Boosters over the years. Go Lady Mustangs! We give them 172 multi-point inspection by Ford Certified Techs. Then you give them a new home. Hi, I'm Chuck Smith, general manager here at Megan Ford, and I'm talking about our Blue Advantage Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. Go see our great selection of values on our website. Check out the free car factory reports and stop in and take a test drive. Hi, I'm Kevin Fike from Marthysburg. I've been selling Fords in the area for nearly 40 years and all of our gold certified vehicles come with a one year, 12,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. Plus a seven year, 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. I've never seen a pre-owned sales program that gives you so much peace of mind. Call us today at 724-628-2720 or visit MegganFord.com. Route 119 Connorsville, near seat. Megan Ford, your friends in the car and truck business. 
The T. Barry Law Office and attorney Vincent M. T. Barry would like to thank everyone who voted them best law firm and criminal defense attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T. Barry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T. Barry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. Make your first call to attorney Vincent M. T. Barry and the T. Barry Law Office. Phone 724-430-0300 or visit their new website at tberrylawoffice.com. The Tberry Law Office, small town, big results. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. This is Charity Grim Krupa, State Representative for the 51st District. I want to wish all of our local teams the best of luck in the WPIAL basketball playoffs. I also want to invite you to our hard-to-read license plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, we can help you fill out the paperwork for a free replacement. I will also be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. I hope to see you there. Brian Marozak back here on the Browns Insurance Group pregame show. It's girls 4A first round high school basketball playoff action on WMBS tonight. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs taking on the Quaker Valley Quakers. We missed it last night. We had the Geibel Gators on the air taking on Eden Christian. And with a recap of that game, here's Nick Barczyk. It was high school basketball playoff action. A girls 1A first round WPIAL playoff basketball matchup last night at Cougar Mountain as the 7th seed of Geibel Lady Gators took on Eden Christian, the 10th seed. Geibel did lead after 1-10-8, led by Emma Larkin. She had six points at halftime. She would finish with a game-high 27 for Geibel, but Eden Christian dominated most of the matchup. They were up 17-14 at half. They would be led on the night by Emmy Smith. She had 15 to lead the way for Eden Christian. And in the second half, Eden Christian would pull away after a big three from Emma Larkin. It was Emmy Smith coming back with a big three-pointer of her own to put Eden Christian up six in the third. Almost got a steal there from Henderson. Kept alive from Hannah Wallace, and they get the answer back. From Emmy Smith, first made three of the game for Emmy Smith. She has seven, and just like that, Tony Eden Christian back up six at 23 to 17. That put Eden Christian up six, and another big shot down the stretch with just over five minutes to go in regulation by Eva Batch extended the advantage. Eden back on the other side, Emsweiler on the inside, pulling it out and answering back with another long to Eva Batch. So it's 41-31, Eden Christian 5:45 left here in the fourth. Eden would add on and win the game by 11, 51 to 40 to advance. Emmy Smith led the way with 15. For Eden Christian, they would score eight in the first nine in the second, 20 in the third, and 14 in the fourth for their 51. Emma Larkin led the way with 27 for Geibel. They had 10 in the first, four in the second, 15 in the third, 11 in the fourth for their 40, but it was 11 points short. They made six threes and were 10 of 21 from the foul line, but again, Eden Christian with a win over Geibel, 51 to 40, and they advanced to the quarterfinals on Thursday evening. Nick Barczyk, WMBS. Thanks a lot, Nick, and we'll have more high school basketball playoff action on WMBS tomorrow with the Uniontown Red Raiders taking on North Catholic in a boys' 4A quarterfinal round game at Norwin High School. That game both on the radio and Facebook, and we'll preview that game talking to Uniontown head coach Rob Kesmarski with the Sprouse Insurance Group. Pre-game show continues right after this. From chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Greene counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements, plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait, Fay West is available. 724-439-8600, that's 724-439-8600. Proudly local and veteran-owned, Fay West Glass will earn your business. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Our versatility combined with our personalized approach is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 
K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. For attorney Melinda Delarose, helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Delarose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Delarose at 724-437-3200. That's 724-437-3200 or online at DelaroseLaw.com. For funeral services from preemie to at need, burial or cremation, call Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, located at 136 North Gallatin Avenue in a beautifully restored historic home. Family owned and operated by Rick Gates, former Brownsville resident and Guybo alumni, the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory offers warmth, convenience, affordability, and ample parking. With a knowledgeable funeral director and compassionate staff, the Gates family and the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory are ready to assist you. Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning extends his best wishes to the Uniontown Red Raiders and Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs in the WPIAL playoffs. District Judge Nathan Henning recognizes that a successful season requires teamwork. It is a result of the hard work of the players and coaches and the support of their families. Good luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs from District Judge Nathan Henning, who is proud to support you. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Primer Rosenbach back here on the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show. Tonight on WMBS, it's girls 4A first round high school basketball playoff action as Laurel Highlands host Quaker Valley. Tomorrow we'll move into the quarterfinals with a boys matchup between Uniontown and North Catholic and Norland High School. Let's preview that game and talk to Uniontown head coach Rob Kesmarski. And Rob, you had a little bit of a slow start in the first half against Quaker Valley, but exploded in the third quarter to pick up a playoff win last Friday night. Oh, yes. It's, um, that first game is very – we talked about it before the game. That's a very stressful, tough game because if you lose, the season's over. Um, look at some of the 5A games last night, some of the teams that were the favorite. They lost, and um, their season's over. And they had they have some of their best careers, um, best best seasons ever. So um, we're excited to get the win. Um, I, I was very proud of our kids. They didn't panic. We had a one-point lead at halftime. But, again, like I told Coach Mastriani that um, – there's no way that I think Care 13 C. They're a really, really good basketball team. Their program has been so successful over the years. So um, we were just happy to win and, and move on. So um, this is another great. It's a great opportunity for our kids, and we're, we're excited for the um, to play at Norwin. And um, because this is what we worked so hard to get to, and the kids deserve all the credit. I got a couple of big keys against Quaker Valley. Certainly Isaac Ellsworth off the bench. It's a big three pointers for you, and the free throw shooting was solid as well. Yes, and I thought, too, that we didn't really shoot that. We didn't shoot as many threes. Um, I thought we were 6 for 14 from threes, but um, we made him in Isaac, just a, a great kid with an even better future. Um, the thing that impresses me the most is Isaac on the bench when he's not in the game supporting his teammates like he does, and that's part of being a team. And for him to only be a sophomore, it's just, um, it's, it's, like I said, his, his future is um, the sky's the limit for him, and it, it was a really good basketball game for him. 
And now on to North Catholic, a team that you know pretty well. You saw them twice in the postseason last year. Actually played them at Norwin in the WPIL quarterfinals a season ago, and then of course knocked them off at Charleroi in the state playoffs. Oh yes, like I said, we and and we also played them this summer, so um, we're familiar with them. Coach Rocket does a great job. Um, we split with them last year, the first game at Norwin, and um, the second game was um, something that people will be talking about for the rest of their lives. The, the buzzer beater, the Bakari hit the shot, so. Um, it, it's, a, it's a game, and both teams want to advance to Saturday, so um, our kids have worked extremely hard to prepare for this. The scouting report has been a little bit easier because it's really the same situation. Uh, we want to use our same game plan, um, keep our men in front of us, rebound, um, have to guard their threes, but we really have to stop their penetration too. So um, we've lear- We learned a lot playing them two times, and I'm sure they learned a lot about them. Um, we played them in the summer, and um, we were fortunate to beat them in the summer. Um, so again, Max um, Max Hurry is one of the better players in the WPIL. Great kid. Got to got to know him personally this summer. Um, we were in the Bahamas, my family, and um, he was there too at the same resort. So we we laughed about that a little bit. But um, we said we didn't we didn't. Hopefully we wouldn't see him, but I guess we're seeing him. So um, that's that. And um, we we're playing uh, out of the out of the eight teams left. We really have we probably have to play in the tougher game. So um, we're prepared for it. And, again, um, we believe in these kids more than anything. Yeah, a few of the characters might have changed, but you know their game plan is probably going to be very similar to what you saw a season ago. I mean, they seem to be year in and year out a solid basketball program in the WPIL. Oh, yes, they are. They get they have a lot of players. They're a Catholic school. They have a lot of players from all over Pittsburgh to play in some of the top-notch AAU programs. So um, we know we know they're good, and um, they're, they, they do a good job. But we also know what we did the second time when we beat them. Um, we, we have to we have to have that same game plan. We have to be smart. We have to get loose balls. We have to protect the rim. Um, they penetrate. They shoot a lot of threes, but we can't let them get to the basket. Um, we got to keep them off the foul line too. Especially Max, who's a really good foul shooter. So um, that that's sort of the game plan. And um, I know our kids. Like I said, this is our kids' tenth playoff game in two years. So I'm very 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 proud of that. And hopefully, those playoff experiences playing in front of 2,300 people. Um, playing North Catholic game. Hopefully it prepares for us for the next couple weeks. Yeah, it should be a, a big crowd on hand at Norwood High School on Wednesday night. Rob, we appreciate your time. As always, best of luck against the Trojans. We'll see you out there. Thanks, Brian. I really appreciate it. Again, that's Union Town Head Coach Rob Kesmarski. We'll see the Red Raiders on WMBS tomorrow night. Our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show hitting the air at 7, 10 p.m. The game will tip off at 8 o'clock. Union Town and North Catholic at Norwood High School. But tonight it's girls for a first round Playoff action as Laurel Highlands takes on Quaker Valley. We're back with the starting lineups and the opening tip-off right after this here on WMBS. Hey, you looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? Well, look no more, because with over 200 vehicles, Gary's Auto Sales is the largest used car dealer in the area. Whether you want a car, a truck, or an SUV, you'll absolutely find what you're looking for at Gary's. Gary's has been in business since 1974. You can visit them online at garysautosales.com, or you can give them a call at 724-626-8080. Gary's Auto Sales. Many miles, many smiles. Accidents can happen at any time. At Stewart Collision Service in Uniontown, we are here to repair your vehicle to pre-accident conditions. Have dents? Stewart Collision Service does paintless dent repair. So give us a call at 724-437-9381 or stop by 73 East Fayette Street for all your collision needs. We work with all insurances. Stewart Collision supports our local high school sports team and wish you the best this season. That's Stewart Collision Service, 73 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, 724-437-9381. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. The T-Berry Law Office and Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry would like to thank everyone who voted them Best Law Firm and Criminal Defense Attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T-Berry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T-Berry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. Make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. T-Berry and the T-Berry Law Office. Phone 724-430-0300. Or visit their new website 
at tberrylawoffice.com. The Tberry Law Office, small town, big results. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Prime Rosak and Tony Hanilla back here at Laurel Highlands High School. The Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs taking on the Quaker Valley Quakers. Girls 4A first round playoff action here on WMBS tonight. The winner will take on the number four seed Highlands Golden Rams coming up on Friday. Tony is your starting lineup to be brought to you by SWGI Specials, now U.S. Digestive Health at Uniontown. A different name, but the same team providing the same exceptional digestive care to our communities. Wishing the best of luck to our Fayette County teams. Tony? All right, Brian, thank you much. For the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs tonight, their head coach, Stu Davis. His assistant coaches are Ryan Schwartfager, Mike Irwin, and John Robinson. They come in 18-2 and two overall on the season. 10-2 and two in Section 3 4A play, and they come in as the number five seed in the 4A playoffs for the girls. His starters for tonight will be number one, Maya Harris, a 5'4 junior guard. Number two, Ayara Jenkins, a 6-foot sophomore guard. Number five, Taylor Schwartfager, a 5'9 freshman guard. Number 11, Ariana Sumter, a 5'11 junior forward. And number 15, Taylor Irwin, a 5'10 sophomore guard. On the other side for the Quaker Valley Quakers, they come in 5-15 and 15 overall, 5-5 five and five in Section 2-4A play. Their head coach, Mr. Ken Johns. His assistant coaches are Derek Liebert, Patty Joe Nikoloff, Hannah Straub, and Emily Melnick. Their starters for tonight will be number two, Oma Mimi Thero, a 6'4 sophomore forward. Number three, Madison Chapman, a 5'6 senior guard. Number 20, Anna Campbell, a 5'7 freshman guard. Number 24, Lucy Roig, a 5'5 sophomore guard. And number 31, Lily Millett, a 5'10 sophomore forward. So, Tony, I was talking to some personnel with the Quaker Valley program about Mimi Thero and about how to say her last name. Now, I was watching some Kentucky games over the weekend, and her brother, Adu, goes by Thiero. And the Quaker Valley folks were telling me that Adu, once he left Quaker Valley and went to Kentucky, is telling everyone his last name is pronounced Thiero, while the sister, who goes by Mimi, tells everybody that the last name is Thiero. So if you're watching a Kentucky game, it's Thiero. If you're watching a Quaker Valley game, it's Thiero. So I guess we're saying Thiero tonight, right? Yeah, we're going to say Thiero. Okay. We're going to make her happy. She's 6'4", yes. a nice player, so we're going to do that. But, you know, now you got to wonder with that question, O'Brien, like, did Tony Dorset have a sister? Did she go yes. by Dorset or Dorset? Dorset yes. So yeah. I actually went back and I was watching Kentucky and Auburn from Saturday right. to make sure I had the pronunciation right, and I was all excited that I had everything correct, and I went down just to confirm it at the Quaker Valley table. And I'm told I'm still wrong. So well, what see, are you do? all that homework's overrated. Yes. Then is what the you said. Homework saying. is overrated <laughs> for sure. And you look at this Laurel Highlands program. We talked about what a journey it's been here to get and host a home playoff game. Of course, last year they went 11 and 12, lost in the first round of the playoffs to Highlands, 54 to 34. And the previous three seasons, Tony, 
just five wins. They went 1-19 in 2022. Of course, they had the open playoffs in 2021. They went 4-15 and and actually hosted a playoff game. That's because Oakland Catholic, their opponent, their gym was not up to WPIL standards, and they had to have all of the playoff games at school sites. There was no neutral sites because of COVID in 2021. So Laurel Highlands hosted the game, lost by 63, 73-10, right. went 0-21 in 2020. But you go back over the years prior to, the, uh, prior to last season, the last time the Lady Mustangs actually qualified for the playoffs. You go back to 2016. They lost to Ringgold in the preliminary round. We talked about those pigtail wins in 2011 over Mars, 2010 over Elizabeth Ford. In 2004, they qualified for the PIAA State Tournament without a main draw WPIL win. They actually won their section, lost in the first round, but 10 teams qualified. So they still got in and lost to Oakland Catholic in the first round of the states, 49-16 to at Norwin. Won a section title as well in 2002. Lost in the first round of the WPIL playoffs. Did not get into the state tournament in 02. And then you have to go back to 1998. Led by Candace John, qualified and advanced all the way to the WPIL semifinal round. Lost in the first round of the state tournament to Altoona. And then back in 96, when Candace John was a sophomore, reached the WPIL quarters, lost in the first round of the state tournament to Erie McDowell. Prior to that, the last really deep run they had in the WPIL quarters back in 83. And again, Altoona, their bugaboo in the first round of the state tournament. I don't have any records of any Laurel Highlands state playoff wins, but really had to dig deep into the history book to look at some of the uh, Mustang accolades over the years. Well, back in the back in the... 80s, late 80s, early 90s, they had a lot of good teams, a lot of good players. You know, you, you look and we, you were asking me earlier on, <clears throat> excuse me, we had Julie Jones play here, you know, a thousand point score. You had a lot of great players at Laurel Highlands, but as the years have gone on, the numbers diminished and especially over the last few years prior to Stu Davis taking over. I mean, there were times when they only had seven people on the roster, so it really got tough. And then once you got into you know, and we have eight right now, though. Well, the uh, well, yeah, but once you got into fast-paced games and Correct, stuff, yeah. it was one of those deals. So, you know, but for years, the Mustangs were pretty much a playoff team, and they were they were well coached. Actually, Coach Auger did it before he went over to the men's side, and uh, you know, had a, had a lot of winning teams. But uh, you know, it's just one of those things where they hit a little lull. But right now, Stu Davis has his team playing real well. I was talking to uh, Candace Johns brother Mookie of course our buddy here and Mook was telling me back in the day 95-96 they had a couple of wins over Swin Cash and McKeesport when Candace was playing she went on to play at Robert Morris and Billy was telling me who's running our camera today he was actually here when the Mustangs knocked off McKeesport and Swin Cash back in the day well and yeah they had fantastic teams back then and you're right for them to beat the McKeesport team with Swin Cash and they also had somebody else on that team too on that McKeesport team that went Division One as well, and I'm not sure who it was, but I know they had a great team back then, and for them to pick up a couple wins against that team showed how good the program was back in the 90s. Of course, Candace was head coach Mark John's niece, and Candace's brother actually played football at Bucknell. Right. Yeah. So it just shows uh, how athletic the family's been over the years. We're hoping for a fun game tonight. The Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs and the Quaker Valley Quakers are back with the opening tip-off right after this here on the Sea Prada Group High School Sports Night and the Sprouts Insurance Group per game show on WMBS. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Falling in love with a house? Head over heels for a home plan? Take the plunge. Apply for a mortgage loan with First Federal Savings Loan of Greene County. Feeling commitment shy? Complete a mortgage prequalification. It's simple. 100% online and you'll get a personalized answer within one business day. Then save the date for a move-in day or groundbreaking and put a key ring on it. Apply online at ffgc.bank, First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 458729. Emidar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel safely to school in the Fayette County area for more than four years. 
Thermidor Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information about MNR Transit, call 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their Uniontown office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. Your health is the most important thing to you. When you need physical therapy, find the best clinic to serve you. Movement Physiotherapy, now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, understands this and wants to help ease the stress. Tyler Gasick has over 10 years of experience helping people improve their health with physical therapy and is ready to help you. Tyler's from the Uniontown area and is committed to helping improve his community. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724-626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt. Introducing Target Safety Solutions Division, LLC. Located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown, Target Safety Solutions specializes in vehicle calibrations after a vehicle is involved in a collision. Target Safety Solutions can perform vehicle alignments, state inspections, minor mechanical repairs, including brakes and suspension work, as well as tire replacement, and their alignment machine can accommodate lowered vehicles, dually trucks, and box trucks. Vehicles are now made with many safety features in order to keep their occupants safe. That is the reason Target Safety Solutions was originated. The new state-of-the-art facility at Target Safety Solutions is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. They're currently taking new customers and accepting commercial and fleet accounts as well. Nick and Mike are ready to provide you with fast, friendly, professional service. Call Nick at 724-550-4403. That's 724-550-4403 for Target Safety Solutions, located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown. Primer Ozak and Tony Hanula back here at Laurel Highlands High School, just about set to go. The Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs and the Quaker Valley Quakers. Laurel Highlands and the Home Whites. Blue numbers and red trim. Their bench off to our left. Quaker Valley and the away blacks with white numbers and gold trim. And their bench off to our right. And, of course, we saw the Quaker Valley boys, Tony, on Friday against Uniontown. So both Quaker Valley programs getting a opportunity to make a trip down to Fayette County over the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, everything that they wanted to do come down here from uh, probably, what, about an hour and 15-minute bus ride for them. But any way you look at it, they're in the playoffs and they're ready to go. And of course, we'll see the Uniontown boys in the 4A quarterfinals coming up tomorrow. We'll have both radio and video coverage of their game against North Catholic at Norwin High School We're on the air tomorrow with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show at 7:10. Opening tip-off set for 8 o'clock, and that should be a fun one up at Norwin. And actually, the third meeting over the last two years between the Trojans and the Red Raiders. Right, and a couple, you know, they split last year, and especially on that shot by Bakari Wallace to win it in the state playoffs, but uh, I'm sure they're going to have a little revenge on their mind, the North Catholic team, because, you know, Unitown knocked them out of the states, and uh, one of those things where I think it's going to be a good game, and Unitown's going to have to be on the top of their game to win tomorrow night. It should be an interesting matchup here tonight as well. Again, you have a young Laurel Highlands team, only two losses all season, 18-2, and two, a Quaker Valley team that played a tough scheduling, five wins all year, but a lot of playoff experience over the last couple of years. Well, and like we said, you know, you play – 16 playoff teams and your 20 games throughout the year. It's, uh, you know, you're really getting prepped for the playoffs there. Again, the starting lineup for Laurel Highlands, Harris, Jenkins, Schwartzfeger, Sumter, and Irwin, Thero, Chapman, Campbell, Roy, and Millett for Ken Johns, Quaker Valley, Quakers. Quakers working right to left as we describe it here in the opening quarter. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanula, Billy Dice, Behind the camera and our Facebook Live video feed, and Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. They had a little power outage down at the scores table during the national anthem, so we hope our score hub is still connected. We'll find out quickly <laughs> as soon as this game gets underway. If not, we'll just shut it off probably for the opening quarter and get it back for the second frame. We think it's working. Uh, your officials here tonight, Stacy Skirbots, Jay People, and Mike Pepino. So in the center circle for the Mustangs, Aira Jenkins. And, of course, jumping for Quaker Valley, Mimi Thero. 
And we get this first round playoff game underway from Laurel Highlands High School. Nice to have you along with us for Tuesday night of high school hoops as Thero wins it back to Madison Chapman for Quaker Valley and we're underway from Laurel Highlands High School. Here's Chapman fronted there by Taylor Schwartzfeger. Tries to come free off of a screen, lost the dribble, needs help, gets it there from Thero. Coming baseline, far side. Thero's going to get a lot of touches here tonight, Tony. Going to get a lot of touches, and the thing of it is the Mustangs are going to not, do not allow her to go baseline. And there's a steal as Maya Harris picking the pocket of Anna Campbell, and Laurel Highlands in transition, taking a right to the rack there is Ariana Sumter and drawing the foul. Shot attempt no good, but a couple of free throws upcoming for Sumter. Came in averaging 13.6 and seven rebounds a game. Well, and you got to wonder if that's the philosophy of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs here tonight to go straight at Thero. They picked up the first foul only 30 seconds into this game. That would be huge if they can get Thero out of the game for a little while. First of two free throws good there for Sumter. And our score hub is working, Tony, so that's good news for us. That's a good sign. As this one gets underway, so Sumter good on her first of two. Second of two free throws on the way and good again for Ariana Sumter and Laurel Highlands off to a 2 nothing lead over Quaker Valley. They'll show a little pressure defense here, trying to force a turnover. They do that again. Sumter a little scoop shot, count the basket, and one, Ariana Sumter. Sumter going to stake it strong to the hole. Good job. And she's going to pick that foul up. It's going to be on Madison Chapman. And Sumter going back to the line already with four points here. We're only, what, 37 seconds in. And yeah, Mustangs really couldn't have asked for a better start here at home, and the free throw attempt here is good for Sumter. That last foul, again, going on Madison Campbell. So Campbell with one, Thero with one on the Quaker Valley side, and Laura Highlands off to a 5-0 lead. Quakers break the press this time. Anna Campbell has it right of the lane. Lost the dribble with Jenkins in her face. She's trapped, gets out of it, sends it into the corner to Lucy Roig. And good defense there from Taylor Irwin. As Quaker Valley looking for positioning here, Madison Chapman at such. Double team comes over, and Laurel Highland's given Quaker Valley fits here early on. A little feed out on the near wing again to Roig. Roig resetting on the elbow. Back up top to Anna Campbell. Thought about the three. Good defense there from Irwin. Now comes inside and draws the foul on Jenkins. They're going to draw that foul on Jenkins, and Jenkins actually had good position, but kind of came down across her arm. If she would have kept her arms up, might have got the block, but she's going to pick up her first foul. And that's going to send Anna Campbell to the line. Campbell, her first free throw of the year. Came in averaging just a point a game, just over two rebounds a game, and misses on her first of two free throw attempts here for Quaker Valley. Of course, a lot of worry when you're facing a team like Quaker Valley just because of the threat of Mimi Thero, likely a future Division I basketball player. Second of two free throws again, no good from Campbell. Thero gets the rebound and lays it up and in. So again, Thero came in averaging close to 20 points, number 14 rebounds a game, and gets her first two here for Quaker Valley. They're back to within three of Laurel Highlands at 5-2. to two. Yeah, And Thero already has an offer from Duquesne. Took a couple unofficial visits to Pitt in Kentucky as well. Of course, she's only a sophomore, so certainly has a lot of time to develop. And her brother was only 5'8", his freshman year here at Quaker Valley, and now close to 6'10", in Quaker Valley forcing a turnover. Lucy Roy coming back, and Roy putting it off the glass. Shot attempt no good. Jenkins the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Yeah, I think Coach Stu Davis wanted to push off there on Roy, but not called, but she missed the layup anyway. Maya Harris resetting in the corner there to Schwartzfeger. Back to Harris again, coming free off the screen. Nice, nice little handoff on the far block, but Jenkins couldn't finish. Battle for the loose ball rebound. we got a jump ball called there between Thero and Jenkins go to the arrow. It favors Laurel Highlands. And a nice dish there by Harris, but Jenkins just couldn't convert the shot. Fortunately, for, though, for the Mustangs, this possession error going their way. Taylor Schwartzfeger to trigger it in. Her father, Ryan, one of the assistant coaches. Now will send it up top and draining the three of Maya Harris. First made three of the game for Laurel Highlands and the Lady Mustangs off to an 8-2 lead over Quaker Valley. Quakers break the press. Anna Campbell right of the lane. Needs help. Pulls it back there to Madison Chapman. A little dump down to Lily Millett. Lost the handle. Regains on the far block. She'll set it out on the far side again to Campbell. Ball fake on the three with Harris watching. Back on the wing. Deflected out of bounds off of Taylor Irwin and out. We'll stay with Quaker Valley here in the Laurel Highlands zone. Tell you what, impressed right now, Brian, with the way this defense, extremely aggressive for the Mustangs and really no breathing room at all for the Quakers. And Madison Chapman sending it in to Lucy Roig. Roig between the circles, watched by Maya Harris. Roig at the elbow, pulling back. 
Hands off to her right again there to Chapman. Little touch from Millett. Now Chapman again. Now they'll switch back here with Thero trying to get her involved. Thero switching back there with Hannah Campbell. Campbell's going to launch the three. It's an air ball. Goes right to Maya Harris of Laurel Highlands. Quickly up and across there to Jenkins. Jenkins taking a step back long two. It comes up short. Schwartzfeger going for the rebound was fouled underneath. Now they're going to say she stepped oh, on the end line. right there, Tony. Yeah. Thought there might have been a little backside contact, but they just call it out of bounds off of Schwartzfeger. Yeah, I did too. Actually kind of surprised that Jenkins didn't take that ball straight at Thero to try to pick up the second foul. She pulled up for the long jumper. Campbell breaking the press there for Quaker Valley. Back to Chapman. Swung to Roig. Now she'll back out and direct a little traffic here for Quaker Valley. On the switch back to Thero. And Thero has a pretty good in and out game, Tony. She's knocked down 21 threes on the season as well. And, of course, dominant down on the blocks. Now from the far elbow, the jumper from Roig is blocked. Deflected out of bounds. Jenkins on that block for Laurel Highlands. And a nice job by Jenkins on the switch to step out and swat that shot away. Now Madison Chapman is sending it here for Quaker Valley. An 8-2 Laurel Highlands lead, 430 left in the first. Sent in to Thero. Thero now backing off edge of the zone. Looking to get a little help here off of a screen. It's not there. Thero stays with it. Uh, and a foul here away from the ball called on Laurel Highlands. They're going to get this one on Sumter. They're going to call that on Sumter. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, she did make a little bit of contact, but... I didn't think it impeded the play at all, but she's going to pick up her first foul. And quickly sent in on the Quaker Valley side to Madison Chapman out of the corner. Watch there from Harris. Back up top to Thero. Ball fake on the three. Works to her right. Lost the dribble. Then back to her left again to Madison Chapman. With Schwartzfeger coming out defensively. Chapman on the wing. Pulls it back to Thero again. Thero now down the lane. Fighting on the inside. Partial block there from Sumter. Kept alive and dumped back down at Thero again. Working down low and drawing the foul. And they're going to get that on Jenkins again, Tony. That's going to be her second. Mustang a, fans don't like it. Man, that's a big foul. I actually thought that Thero kind of went up for the scoop underneath. I didn't think that Jenkins made a whole lot of contact there, but... She's going to pick up her second, and now all of a sudden with 3.54 to go, a little bit of foul trouble here for Ayara Jenkins. And Thero makes the first of two free throw attempts, and neither one of these teams, Tony, have a lot of depth on their bench. No, they don't. Thero now, her second of two free throws, this one rattling out, and the Mustang rebound pulled down by Ayara Jenkins. So Jenkins staying out there with two personals early on. 3.45 left here in the first. Laurel Highlands an 8-3 lead over Quaker Valley. Now a little dump down there to Sumter and a foul called here on the Quaker Valley set. Yeah, I think that's going to be on Roy. I think they're going to call the body in a reach. I agree. And that's going to be her first foul. So team third in this first corner. And they're going to have our first subs checking in. Looks like Righteous Richardson is going to come in for the Mustangs. Give Jenkins a little breather. First of two free throws good for Sumter. Richardson was wearing 23 earlier on in the season, now wearing number three on the Laurel Highlands side. Now the difference is, I mean, you hate to see Jenkins go out, obviously, but you're going to miss a lot of size underneath. Sumter, second of two free throws, good again. So Sumter, seven of the ten for Laurel Highlands. She's four of four from the foul line. The Mustangs, a 10-3 lead over Quaker Valley. Quakers break the press across to Roy. Tried a little bounce pass down the blocks to Mia Floro. Deflected out of bounds. We'll stay with Quaker Valley here in the Laurel Highlands zone. Yeah, great anticipation right there by Maya Harris. Really is going to have a wide open layup, but Harris stepped in that passing lane, knocked it out of bounds. Chapman in a Thero back in the corner to Chapman. Quick three, good for Madison Chapman. Her 13th made three of the season for Quaker Valley. And just like that zone, the Quakers back to within four, 10 to six with 322 left here in the first. Yeah, no, it's kind of interesting. You, you would think the way this game's going, it looks like the Mustangs are up by a couple, maybe 10 points or so, but really only up by four right now. Harris looking for the answer back, came up short on a three, and Thero bring it back across here for Quaker Valley. Thero getting some instructions from Ken Johns, Quaker Valley's head coach. Johns now in his third year, manning the Quakers. Pulled back there, high on the right to Chapman. Chapman kind of feeling out this Laurel Highlands defense. Looking for a little bit of help. Works off to her left. 
Switch back there with Lucy Rolling. Now Chapman again. Front of there by Schwartzfeger. Feed down low. It's into a double team. Went right to Ariana Sumter. Who said a bounce pass. Four many ah. one, too many passes there. So he had Richardson. Looks like she had a clear shot. They'll kick it out to Schwartzfeger. Misses on a three. Backside rebound. Taylor Irwin keeps it alive on the offensive glass. Yeah, you're correct, Brian. Richardson should have taken that shot. Had the wide open layup, but just was unselfish and passed it over to Schwartzfeger. Lady Mustang still up 10-6, 222 left here in the first underneath. Trying to reposition and get it to go. Ariana Sumter, Sumter red hot tone, has 9 of the 12 for the Mustangs. They've doubled up the Quakers at 12-6. That's a and double now dribble. Chapman Called for the double dribble. She lost the handle initially, tried to regain in the backcourt. But the Laurel Highlands pressure giving the Quakers fits here early on. Yeah, I'd like to see the Mustangs right now just kind of post up Sumter underneath and have her take it right at Thero try to pick up that second foul on her because that would be huge. Yeah, no seniors on this Laurel Highlands team, all underclassmen, playing well, leading 12-6 to six in this WPIL first-round playoff game, Laurel Highlands and Quaker Valley here on WMBS. Ariana Sumter back in the corner again to Schwartzfeger. Now Sumter again, baseline feed to Taylor Irwin, back to Schwartzfeger. Switch back up top with Richardson to her left to Maya Harris. Send far side now to Sumter, a little dribble drive and blocked there by Thero. A little touch from Chapman and Thero back on it on the Quaker Valley side. It's up to make hay down on the blocks, Tony, going against Thero. Well, Thero averages five blocks a game. Now she's going to take the three and make the three from the top of the key. Mimi Thero now with six. And we have a timeout with 133 left in the first. 12-9 Mustangs over the Quakers. We're back in 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even watch it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Brian Morozak and Tony Hanula back here at Laurel Highlands High School. The Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs off to a 12-9 lead over the Quaker Valley Quakers as we work here deep into the first quarter. 133 left in the first. Ariana Sumter leading the way for Laurel Highlands with nine. And Mimi Thero with six of the nine on the Quaker Valley side. Yeah, Sumter playing a fantastic first quarter here so far for the Mustangs. Taylor Schwartzfeger will trigger it in here for Laurel Highlands. We talked about how this Laurel Highlands program really just turning around the culture of Mustang basketball. How good has this program been? They basically changed the name of the team, Tony, from the Phillies <laughs> to the Lady Mustangs. They're playing so good. They can call themselves whatever they want, yeah. winning games the way they are off to an 18-2 start as the playoffs get underway tonight. Here's Schwartzweger here on the near wing, fronted there by Madison Chapman. Back into the hands of Maya Harris. Harris back to Schwartzweger again, a little ball fake. Of course, Harris hit that last three for Laurel Highland. She'll hand off down low and leaning and missing there is Sumter. Ball comes loose, kept alive by Righteous Richardson who draws the foul. And a nice job there by Righteous Richardson to hustle after that offensive rebound. So she's going to pick up the second foul on Roig and still only 14 fouls. If two on Roig, one on Chapman, one on Thero on the Quaker Valley side, two on Jenkins, one on Sumter. On the Laurel Highland side, 52 seconds left here on the first. Three attempt from Sumter from the near wing, no good. Ball goes out of bounds and last touched by Quaker Valley. Going out, we'll stay with the Mustangs here in the Quaker Valley zone. Yeah, I don't think Anna Campbell agreed with that for Quaker Valley, but it looked like she did poke it out of bounds. So now Schwartfeger to take it out underneath the basket for the Mustangs. We'll send it in to Taylor. Irwin bounced again on the wing to Harris. Passed on the three. Resets at the foul line. Goes far side to Richardson. Almost had it poked away there from Rowling, but able to keep it alive. And back to Maya Harris up top. Harris between the circles. Far wing again. Sumter. Nice little feed down low. Cutting but missing, though, was Irwin. But that was a great look, Tom. That was a great look. and just Irwin just couldn't connect with it. Went with the left hand. 
Probably had an opportunity to go with the right there and make it. Mustangs, they'll answer back with a steal of their own. Here's Sumter coming forward, trying a little give and go with Richardson. Again, maybe one too many passes. Here's Thero breaking back for a quick two. That was too easy, giving up that break. Tamini Thero and the Quakers back to within one. We're down to five seconds left here in the opening quarter. Mustangs need to hurry. They'll fire the three from Harris, and she hits it again from the near wing. So what a way to cap off the opening quarter. Maya Harris increasing the Laurel Highlands lead to 15 to 11. And that does it for one quarter of basketball here from Laurel Highlands High School tonight. Mustangs 15, Quakers 11. We're back with a second and 60 here on the Sea Operata Group High School Sports Night. Bad head hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. This is Charity Grim Krupa, state representative for the 51st District. I want to wish all of our local teams the best of luck in the WPIAL basketball playoffs. I also want to invite you to our hard-to-read license plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, we can help you fill out the paperwork for a free replacement. I will also be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. I hope to see you there. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, the Mustangs in a 15 to 11 lead over the Quaker Valley Quakers. And Tony, they actually sold less than 200 pre-sale tickets, but a pretty good walk-up tonight as this place is filling up. Yeah, we got a great crowd here tonight, and that's good. You want to see the Mustangs get a little support here. I mean, they've, they've supported the boys over the years, so it's good to see them come out for the ladies as well. And a great way to end the... Opening quarter with that three from Maya Harris. Now Quaker Valley with the basketball down four. And a quick steal from Taylor Schwartzbegger. Setting it up the floor to Taylor Irwin. He takes it on the inside. Again, couldn't finish. The offensive rebound there from Jenkins trying to keep it alive. Pokes it out to the wing again to Harris. Reese it up top. Sumter dumped back down again there to Jenkins. Tried a little turn and shoot. Shot might have been altered there by Thero. Deflected out of bounds but off of Mimi going out. So we'll stay with Laurel Highlands here in the Quaker Valley zone. Well, and a good move there by Jenkins, but Thero just able to block that shot. And a smart play by Coach Davis. Take it right at her here starting the second quarter. Here's Harris again coming free and hitting her third three of the night. Maya Harris with nine on the Laurel Highland side. She's supped her with nine. Harris with nine. And the Mustangs an 18 to 11 lead over Quaker Valley with 7.15 left before halftime. Anna Campbell coming baseline far side for Quaker Valley. That shot might have been blocked there by Sumter, and the Mustangs retake possession again, Tony. Yeah, it actually was blocked by Sumter. She got a hand on it. And now here's the Mustangs. Jenkins going to post up high, take it right at the basket. Couldn't finish there with a left hand. Good defense again from Thero, who brings it back across. Thero maybe a little bit out of control, but resets here on the wing. Back up top, quick three. Too strong that time from Lucy Roy. Going to foul call off the rebound. They're going to call a jump ball. Okay, wow. <clears throat> so possession arrow goes back to the Mustangs. And good position there by Taylor Irwin to get that long offensive rebound. This rolling goes tied up, no foul committed. And Laurel Highlands takes the basketball over again, up seven at 18 to 11. 6.37 left before halftime. Irwin again on the corner. Back on the wing and driving and missing there was Jenkins. And pulling down the rebound, Thero again for Quaker Valley. Yeah, two good looks right there, both Sumter and Jenkins. And they're going to call that foul on Schwartfager. Schwartfager with a tough task here. To guard Thero. Yes. So the freshman is going to pick up her first foul. And Lily Millett back in on the Quaker Valley side, replacing Mia Floro. And Quaker Valley will trigger it in down seven with 6.22 left before halftime. Madison Chapman back on the wing again to Anna Campbell. Switching back there with Chapman, dumped down at Thero. It was actually triple teamed. Pulls it back on the foul line to Campbell. Now back between the circles again to Lucy Rolig. Switches back here with Chapman. Chapman calling out for a little bit of help. One some motion. Quakers down seven. Campbell again up top. Off to her left again to Chapman. Bounce pass inside. Thero with the finish. Scooping it up with Sumter defending. 11 for Mimi Thero in Quaker Valley. 
Back to within five of Laurel Highlands at 18-13. to 13. Yeah, not much you can do right there. Just cutting to the basket, and Chapman with a nice bounce pass. Good screen from Sumter setting up the drive for Maya Harris. And Harris just red hot tonight, Tony, already in double figures. 11 of the 20 for the Mustangs, who lead by seven at 20-13. to 13. And Chapman with it back on the other side for the Quakers. Working off to her left. Now backing off here between the circles with Harris defending. Quaker Valley, the number 12 seed coming in 5-15. and 15. The Mustangs 18-2. and two. Three from up top. No good there from Roy. Get another Laurel Highlands rebound as Maya Harris out of the pack with it there for the Mustangs. Yeah, and a smart play there by Maya Harris. She looked up the floor and saw Jenkins, but good thing she didn't make the pass because Thero was kind of waiting there. Here's Irwin between defenders, sending it back out again to Harris. Up top now to Jenkins. Jenkins trying to drive on Thero, pivots back, readjusts, shot up, but no good. Rebound tipped around, and a great save from Sumter there for the Mustangs, setting up Irwin for the three. And a quick timeout by Quaker Valley. They and you're right. It. Yeah, and great save by Sumter. So Taylor Irwin getting her first points from outside the three-point arc. 23-13 Mustangs over the Quakers. This is a 30-second timeout. They're back in 30 here on the C.R. Brana Group High School Sports Night. From chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Greene counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements, plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait, Fay West is available. 724-439-8600, that's 724-439-8600. Proudly local and veteran-owned, Fay West Glass will earn your business. 444 left before halftime. Laurel Highlands 23, Quaker Valley 13. I have to thank, thank excuse me, our video stream sponsors tonight. State Representative Charity Grim Krupa and Ted Sova and Son, Body and Fender Repair. Nice to have you along with us. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanola, Billy Nice behind the camera. Nick Barczak back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. I think the Mustangs could have asked Tony for much more of a better start than they've had so far tonight. No, and really, <laughs> to be honest with you, Brian, it could be more. I mean, they missed a lot of layups underneath. It's still up 10. Yeah. Midway through the second quarter. Got to love it so far. Here's Roig. It's front of there from Irwin. Another little dump down to Thero. And Thero drawing the foul. Shot attempt no good, but she'll have two free throws upcoming. And we'll check and see which Mustang's going to be called for the foul. And this one will go Gets. on Schwartzfeger, her second. Yeah, it's going to be her second. As we said, tough to guard her with really a big size differential, only 5'9" compared to 6-4 for Thero. And you're right, Billy Billy called it out. I actually thought she got, around, uh, got away with a hook as well. Thero makes the first of two free throw attempts, and at times you almost have to platoon some people there around Thero, especially if Schwartzfeger gets into foul trouble, and Mimi missing her second of two free throws. So it's a nine-point Laurel Highlands lead at 23-14 to with 4-12 left before halftime. Well, you got two Lady Mustangs with two fouls, that being Schwartfeger and Jenkins. Little seam on the drive, missing there is Sumter. Ball tied up off the rebound and a travel called there on Laurel Highlands. That's surprising, Tony. Hey, I, did, I, don't, I don't know if I saw that one, but <clears throat> interesting. But you're going to have Mia Floro check back in for Lily Millet. And again, full court pressure being shown by the Lady Mustangs. Lead at 9 for the Mustangs at 23-14. to 14. Madison Chapman to bring it across here for Quaker Valley. Fronted by Maya Harris. Chapman edges the zone, now working here high on the right. Comes down the far boundary, looking for Thero, but deflected away. It's Sumter coming back for the Mustangs, and Sumter laying it up and in. Ariana Sumter with 11 of her own. And the Mustang lead now up to 11, and that one was turned over right off the inbounds pass. Tony by Quaker Valley, so yeah. Laurel Highlands is going to get it back again. Just a bad pass on the inbounds pass, and the Mustangs trying to capitalize on and extend this 11-point lead. Here's Schwartzfeger off the inbounds, pass off to her right to Jenkins, spots up for the three. It's an air ball, goes out of bounds, and this time over to Quaker Valley. Yeah, maybe should have taken their time a little bit, worked it around. That was a good shot. I mean, Jenkins had a wide-open look, but just couldn't get it to go. So you have Harris with 11, <laughs> Sumter with 11, Taylor Irwin a made three on the Laurel Highlands side, Mimi Thero pacing the way. With 12 for Quaker Valley, and Thero with the basketball now up top. Trying to make something happen with the Quakers down 11. Thero spinning on the inside. Tough shot, going to get it to go. And 
Arietta Jenkins with a rebound there for the Mustangs. Yeah, and a good job there by Sumter. Just held her ground, kept her arms up, and made it tough for Thero to even take that shot. Here's Maya Harris sending it down to Sumter. A lot of contact and a blocking foul. Called there on Quaker Valley. Bang, bang, play, but Rolig called for the foul. Yeah, it looked like Anna Campbell just kind of slid underneath Sumter as she tried to make a move there. Coach John wants an explanation as well, but thought it was a pretty good call. Really didn't give Sumter much room to move once she got the pass. You're right, that's called on Campbell, not Roig. And the first of two free throws good there from Sumter. So Sumter with 12 and shooting free throws well tonight, Tony. 5 of 5 from the foul line. Make it 6 of 6 as she connects again. She is 13, and the Laurel Highlands lead back up to... 13 to 27 to 14. Thero back across. Thero left to the lane, coming inside another miss. And Jenkins, another rebound there for Laurel Highlands in traffic. She's fouled. That might be the second on Thero. No, I think it's going to be on Floro, number 21. Oh, no. They're going to call that on Chapman. Chapman. Wow. Wow. Interesting. You got three of them all around. And the second on Chapman. So you have Roig with two, Chapman with two, Campbell with one, and Thero with one on the Quaker Valley side. Now Harris operating up top for the Mustangs. Off to Irwin, coming baseline far side, and an offensive foul. Called there on Laurel Highlands. What did the, how did they, they call that on Sumter. Had to be away from the ball. <laughs> it was away from the ball, like really away from the ball. That's <clears> her <throat> second. I mean, ew, I don't get that one. I mean, you had Harris working on the left side of the floor, and then you had Sumter over here. Really didn't affect the play at all. I agree. I, I Surprised to even hear the whistle in that situation. Here's Chapman getting the feed from Thero. Working here high on the right, trying to spin off of Harris. Trying to get a little motion offense and stepping in front of the pass there. Ayara Jenkins again for Laurel Highlands. And a nice steal by Jenkins there. Just got in the right place, right time. Irwin again open for three, and that one rattling in. Actually rattled down, hopped out, went back in. And Laurel Highlands now a 16-point lead after that made three from Taylor Irwin. And everybody in the scoring column for the starters except Schwartfeger, but she's playing great defense. The Mustangs have knocked down five threes so far in this first half as well. Quaker Valley trying to answer back. Missed three there from Anna Campbell. And Taylor Irwin, another rebound for Laurel Highlands. Off and across to Maya Harris. Harris coming far wing and in. Harris leaning and scoring. Maya Harris, what a start she's off to tonight, Tony. Seven here in the second, 13 for the game. And Laura Highland starting to run away with this one. Up 32 to 14 with 125 left before halftime. Yeah, just really great defense leading to better offense on the other side for the Mustangs. Thero open three attempt, well off the mark. Offensive rebound brought down by Chapman. Try to reset to Thero, cut towards the basket. Going for the save there was Roy, but just deflected it over to Irwin. Who takes a jumper, foul and extended on the left, no good. Offensive rebound, Schwartzfeger keeping it alive on the offensive glass for the Mustangs. Off to Sumper, Sumter, excuse me. Jumper right of the lane, no good, and a Quaker Valley rebound. Pulled down there from Roy. Yeah, and again, an open look for Sumter. Just couldn't get it to go. So here's Thero. Off to her right to Campbell. Missing there on a three. Schwartzfeger, the rebound there for the Mustangs. So Laurel Highland's up 18 with 42 seconds left before halftime. Irwin again. Pulling it back to Sumter. Up top to Harris. You'd have to think the Mustangs might hold for the last shot. Yeah, it looks like it is. Coach Davis. Yelling out some instructions, and they are going to wait for the last shot. You can actually hear him saying last shot down there. Maya Harris with 24 seconds left. She's going to take the shot. It rattles out. But they get an offensive rebound there from Schwartzfeger. Tell you what, as we said, she has not gotten into scoring column yet, but she's playing a great game for the Mustangs. Stu telling them again, guys, hold for the last shot. We're down eight seconds left this time. Get a little motion here from Harris. Harris getting tripped up and fouled right of the lane. That'll be just the third team foul of the second quarter on Quaker Valley. So it'll be nine shooting. The Mustangs will trigger this one in. Again, with 4.7 left on the clock. Second personal on Anna Campbell. Yeah, and if they could get a nice shot here, maybe bust the three right before halftime. Really go in with a lot of momentum. Schwartzfeger on the wing to Harris. Another three on the way, and she hit it again. What a big first half for Maya Harris. She's knocked down four threes and has 16 points. And Laurel Highlands starting to run away, Tony. They're up 21 at 35-14. to 14. Three touchdown lead. 
Stay tuned for our halftime show. It's brought to you by the Radcliffe Martin Laffer. Comes your way next year on WMBS, Facebook Live, and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. NovaCare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, NovaCare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Masontown office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver is the buildup of excess fat in liver cells and affects about 100 million people in the U.S. Risk factors include being overweight, diabetes, high cholesterol, and hypertension. If you have fatty liver, our team at U.S. Digestive Health urges you to talk to your doctor about getting a blood or ultrasound-based test to check for liver scarring that can lead to cirrhosis. For more information, call us at 724 Four three seven seven six seven seven. Go to Ford Uniontown and trade me in. John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from your seven-time President's Award-winning Ford Uniontown. Dominic, let's kick this President's sale up a few notches. <laughs> John, listen to this. We are taking up to $7,000 off 23 F-150s. Or get this, 1.9 financing up to 72 months, and that's on all models, XLs, XLTs, Larrys, and more. Sale excludes tremors and Raptors. By the way, all 24 edges, we are taking up to $3,000 off with 1000 in rebate and 0% APR for 48 months. 0.9 for 60 months and only 2.9 for 72 months. And JC, I just checked, and we have over 80 pre-owned on the lot right now ready to move. Most are certified with factory warranty. Cars, trucks. SUVs, we got them. Just a reminder, we now offer online maintenance appointments, and don't forget our pickup and delivery service. We simply pick the vehicle up at your home or office, bring it here to complete the service, and return the vehicle back to you. Easy like Sunday morning. The presidents know, shouldn't you? That's 40 Uniontown on top of the hill across from Applebee's or 40Uniontown.com. Must find support supplementary credit and not all buyers will Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zens is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zens Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zens Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. Halftime here at Laurel Highlands High School. The Lady Mustangs, a 35-14 lead over Quaker Valley. Tony, is your halftime stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County. All right, in that first half for the Lady Mustangs, they were led by Maya Harris, who had 16 points. She had four made threes. Ariana Sumter had 13, nine of those coming in the first quarter. And Taylor Irwin with two made threes. Since I can't add, Brian, we said all uh, four out of five starters, but it's only three out of five. You are correct. So they scored 15 in the first, 20 in the second for their total of 35. Outscored Quaker Valley 20 to 3 in that second quarter. And they're also telling you, Tone online, that fouls can be called away from the ball. It doesn't have to affect the play. Everybody likes to 
<laughs> Correct, you're right. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time because I like you. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Trust me, I can handle it. <laughs> but <laughs> on the Quaker Valley side, you had Thero had 11, and Madison Chapman had a made three in that first quarter. They scored 11 in the first, as we mentioned, only three points in that second quarter for their total of 14. They were two for six from the foul line and two made threes, one by Thero and one by Madison Chapman. Yeah, the winner will take on Highlands coming up on Friday. That game at Highlands High School will get a start time likely tomorrow from the WPIL office. Again, coming up tomorrow here on WMBS, it's boys 4 a quarterfinal round action. The game being played at Norwood High School. The Uniontown Red Raiders taking on the North Catholic Trojans on the air at 710 with our Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show, the opening tip-off set for 8 o'clock. Again, North Catholic taking on Uniontown at Norwood. Tonight, Laurel Highlands, a 32, check that, a 35-14 lead over Quaker Valley. 35-14, Mustangs over the Quakers. Second half comes your way next here on WMBS. Brewston Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brewstonwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. Pizza, beer, at Atmosphere. It's all at Mom Maruka's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruka's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruka's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarukaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. I'm Bill Martin, and along with my partner Trip Radcliffe and Rob Harper are attorneys at Radcliffe Martin Law. Our primary focus at Radcliffe Martin Law is representing people hurt in accidents. However, we handle workers' compensation claims, estate planning, real estate matters, and class actions. Radcliffe Martin Law is your hometown firm that offers conveniences not possible with Pittsburgh firms and provides better service than those firms. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. 724-439-3930. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even watch it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be. In the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy. Your Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Hey, maybe it's just time for a new set of dentures. If that's the case, check out Uniontown Dental Associates, located at 7829 National Pike in Uniontown. They can make you new dentures faster than other offices, and in most cases, can offer same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Just call their office for your appointment today, 724-438-0241, or visit their Facebook page. For more information. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. 
Our versatility combined with our personalized approach is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checked and windshield cleaned? Joe B's Golf, that's where. Joe B's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Basin Boulevard. Joe B's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for 50 years. Joe B's Golf offers lockout services, a fenced-in storage lot, and it's a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. Third quarter underway. Quaker Valley with the basketball working left to right as we describe it. Mimi Thero sending it out to Chapman on the far side. He takes a long two in and out. Schwartzfeger the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. The Mustangs in a pretty good spot here, Tony, up 21. Nice and move there. Out. A little drive from Sumter couldn't get it to go. Might have been altered from Thero. Who comes out of the pack with it for the basketball with Quaker Valley. And Thero is going to be called for an offensive foul. And that's going to be her second. That was interesting. I actually thought that Schwartfeger kind of tripped over her own feet, but they're going to call Thero off the push-off. So you're right, that's going to be her second team first in this second half. As you mentioned, Tony, during those halftime stats from First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, the Lady Mustangs held Quaker Valley to just three points in that second quarter. Defense has been tremendous tonight. There's Jenkins trying to come between defenders. Shot attempt, no good. In fact, they're going to say the foul was on the floor. And it's going to be a blocking foul on Anna Campbell. That'll be her third. It's going to be her third is right. But at this point in time, you're down 21. You might as well leave her in. Nice pass. And this time, the finish from Sumter. Schwartzfeger, the assist off the inbounds pass. Sumter with 15 in the Laurel Highlands lead now. Up to 23 at 37 to 14. Again, this Mustang press has been giving Quaker Valley all kinds of fits this evening. And that one deflected out of bounds off the Mustangs and out. We'll stay with Quaker Valley here in the Laurel Highlands zone as Madison Chapman will trigger it in. Into Mimi Thero, back to Chapman again. Playing catch there with Roig. Chapman back on it. Near side, Anna Campbell. Back into the corner to Floro, and now Campbell again. Those two play catch. Floro at such. Over to Chapman. Quaker Valley needs a little more motion on this offense. They'll dump down to Thero this time. She's double team. Shot attempt, no good, but she was fouled. It's going to be interesting to see if it's going to be on up. It's going to be on Jenkins. So now she's going to pick up her third. Only a minute and five seconds into this third quarter. By the advantage on the Laurel Highlands side, you have that 23-point cushion at this juncture of the game with Thero at the foul line, missing her first of two. And Thero struggled a little bit here at the free throw line. Tony came in 71%, just two of five so far tonight. Correct. Thero now her second of two, and this one is good to put her at 50% for the night. She has 12, and Quaker Valley still down 22 at 37 to 15. Yeah, but you can tell she's got game, Brian. There's no doubt about that. Harris out of her own zone on the wing. Back to Irwin. Playing catch with Schwartzfeger. Touch there from Jenkins. Trying to get it off to Sumter. Deflected out of bounds off of Quaker Valley going out. We'll stay with Laurel Highlands. And at this juncture of the game, Tony wouldn't mind a little longer possessions on the Laurel Highlands side as well. Put the cushion on the scoreboard. I would agree. Inbounds pass goes to Jenkins. Has operating room. Pulls back to Irwin. Switching back to Harris. Edge of the zone. Watch from Roig. Far side. Irwin back in the corner. Sumter dumped down underneath. Jenkins couldn't finish. And Thero out of the pack with it there for Quaker Valley. Surprisingly, Jenkins yet to score in this game for Laurel Highlands. He had a good look again. She had a good look there. Nice entry pass there by Sumter. But Jenkins... Kind of has a lid on the basket for her here tonight. Thero with Mustangs all around her. Able to keep it alive there. Back to Roig up top. Open look. Campbell for three. Drains it. And a Campbell. First points of the game come from outside the three-point arc. Quaker Valley back to within 19. Down 37-18 with 5.55 left here in the third. There's another attempt. And this time Jenkins coming free. And she will finish this time. Aira Jenkins. The Mustangs sophomore. Her opening two of the game increases the Laurel Highlands lead back to 21. Double team there on Chapman. She's trapped, needs help. Jump ball call. We'll go back to the possession arrow. Good defense there as Schwartzfeger ended up ripping it away right after the whistle was blown. 
got a, I think we got a 30 second timeout by we do. Quaker Valley. With 5.38 left here in the third, Mustangs 39, Quakers 18. We're back at 30 here on the C. Harper Auto Group High School Sports Night. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Laura Highlands 39, Quaker Valley 18, 538 left here in the third. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanola. Billy Dice behind the camera. Nick Barczyk back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. We appreciate you joining us for a Tuesday night of high school basketball playoff action here on WMBS. We're back with more playoff hoops tomorrow on the boys' side for a quarterfinal round action. Union Town and North Catholic from Norwood High School. A little trap here on Lily Millett. Deflected out of bounds, going off of Laurel Highland, so Millet and the Quakers will keep possession here in the Lady Mustang zone. Yeah, unfortunately for Jenkins, she did not pick up her fourth foul there. Thought she was getting a little too close there to Madison Chapman. Chapman with it again, resetting back up top there to Campbell, who just hit the three. She'll send it off to her right to Lucy Roy, who just put it off the glass. A quick steal there after the miss. Quakers keeping it alive, and they'll get a finish on the far block. So ring that two up for Lily Millett, her first two of the game. Yeah, in right place at the right time. Another nice entry pass. Sloppy passing there by the Mustangs, trying to get an outlet to run. Our Highlands up 39-20. to 20. Jenkins missing on the near block. Thero the rebound there for Quaker Valley. Off on the far side, Roy Back to Thero. Oh. And you're going to get the third foul there on Sumter. That's a tough call. I thought that was a clean block by Sumter. She's going to pick up her third foul. Officials did not agree, Tony. And Mimi Thero head of the free throw line for Quaker Valley. Yeah, that was, man, that's a tough call right there. First of two free throws good for Mimi. Referee explaining to Coach Davis that caught the bottom of her wrist, but I would tend to disagree with that one. Mad Stu and all eight Lady Mustangs in our studios, Tony, this past Thursday with Phil, Michael, and TJ, great to have them on the air. And who knows, they might be coming back if the Lady Mustangs hang on here. Thero, though, a couple of free throw makes. Quaker Valley back to within 17 at 39-22 to 22 with 440 left here in the third. Irwin wide open. Take the quick three. Came up a little bit short. And Quaker Valley's rebound pulled down by Lillian Millets. And the Mustangs have to be a little careful here, Brian. I think you're right. You know, take a little time off the clock. You've been able to get a couple easy baskets Especially. on some entry passes. Just slow it down here. Use some clock. And Thero from the outside rattles home the three. And Tony, when you have a player as dangerous as Thero, they can come back at any time. And they're back to within 14 now at 39 to 25. 416 left here in the third. Simon on the court will take it as well. We're back at 60 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Chris Parker, Jr., what's going on for February at Autoland Hyundai? Well, this year's leap year. There's President's Day, and don't forget Valentine's Day. Interest rates have been high, but you'll love this. 0% financing available on 2024 Tucson's and new 2023 Santa Fe. Or up to $9,000 savings off select all-wheel drive Santa Fe. And here's another sweetheart of a deal. Lease a 2024 Elantra SC for only $199 per month. Just see us for details. What else do you have going on? Well, President's Day reminds us of great leadership. Just as Hyundai leads the way by offering Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain protection. And leap year is an extra day. So with Hyundai's sales event cash, you'll save an extra $1,000 on all new remaining 2023 Hyundai. Plus three year, 36,000 mile free complimentary maintenance. Visit their website, autolandhyundai.com or stop by their location, 25 East Fayette Street in Uniontown. And remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Back here in Laurel Highlands High School, Quaker Valley trying to make a run back, but the Quakers still down 14 to 39 to 25 with 416 left here in the third. Still a lot of basketball to play, Tony. Still a lot of basketball to play, and the Mustangs have to be careful right now. It looks like Quaker Valley gaining a little confidence and a little momentum. I'd like to see more touches from Maya Harris right now. The hot hand in the first half with 16 points. Let's get her involved here a little bit in the second half as well. She has it right now. Coming to baseline near side. Floater came up short. Trying to get her own rebound, but Harris throwing it right there to Lily Millett. 
Quaker Valley, the momentum right now. Mimi Thero back across on the far side. Thero on the far wing in the Laurel Highland zone. Swinging it off to Chapman. Feed down low was deflected. Roy going for the save, keeps it alive. Roy back to Chapman again. Inside there to Thero, a miss out in front. And another offensive rebound just for a moment. Miller tried to tap back, but it went right to Taylor Schwartzfeger on the Laurel Highland side. Uh, she had Irwin wide open, but Irwin wasn't looking back for the ball. She could have had an easy layup. Irwin has it right now in the corner there to Jenkins, dumping down to Sumter, floater out in front. Good for Ariana Sumter. Sumter with 17 on the Laurel Highland side. Lead back up to 16 at 41 to 25. And again, strong move there by Sumter to take the ball to the basket. 3.07 left here in the third. Chapman backing off now for Quaker Valley. Singing off to her left there to Roy, and now Chapman again. Chapman between the circles, watched by Harris. A little dump down intended for Thera. Well read on the Laurel Island side. They'll knock it away and send it forward to Maya Harris. Harris, a little ball fake, now goes up. Shot attempt, no good, but cleaning it up on the far block. Aira Jenkins. Jenkins, four third quarter points for Laurel Highlands. Lead back up to 18. Coming free, long to Anna Campbell, no good. Taylor Irwin, another rebound there for the Lady Mustangs. Yeah, on that last possession, Jenkins make the steal. Hustled back and got rewarded with a nice, easy layup. Harris trying to settle things back down for the Lady Mustangs. Up 18 with 2.22 left here in the third. Laurel Highlands trying to regain a little control of this game, but a little poke there from Thero gives the Quakers the basketball back. Well, Thero just used those long arms right there to poke that ball away. And a block that time from Sumter on the three attempt from Campbell. And they're going to roll it out of bounds off of Laurel Highlands, and the officials are going to get together. Don't be surprised if this one gets switched. I think it is going to get switched. They're going to overrule each other. Yep. That was the right call. And Harris will trigger it back in for the Lady Mustangs. And good to see the officials getting together, Tony, to make sure they had the correct call. Yeah, I couldn't see it on that end. I wasn't real sure who exactly knocked it out of bounds, but good thing the refs saw it the way that they did. Amaya Harris back across over to Schwartzfeger, far wing in the Quaker Valley zone. Out of the corner comes Jenkins. Trying to come baseline, far side, deflected out of bounds off of Quaker Valley going out. We'll stay with Laurel Highlands in the Quaker zone. Yeah, and again, Thero again with the near steal. 153 left here in the third. I don't think the Lady Mustangs realized that the ball was knocked out of bounds by Quaker Valley. Schwartzfeger to reload and sending it in for the quick two from Sumter. So Sumter, six here in the third, 19 for the game. And Laurel Highlands again with a 20-point lead, Tony, at 45-25. to 25. And another great pass by Schwartzfeger off the inbounds. We've seen the Mustangs get a number of easy shots off the inbounds pass underneath their own hoop. Good feed down low. Chapman going to pull it back out. You have Roig up top. Playing catch there with Floro. Chapman another touch. Back to Roig. Now Chapman again here between the circles. And this is something the Mustangs don't mind at all. Run some clock. Yeah, long possession here for Quaker Valley. They have an open look up top. Mustangs just letting Floro take the shot. It's no good on Laurel Island's rebound. Mustangs run it back up to Jenkins, who has the left hand finish. Jenkins, six third quarter points. Laurel Highlands lead back up to 22 at 47 to 25. Quick pull up jumper for the foul line. No good there from Thero. Laurel Highlands another rebound. Harris sending it down. Jenkins cutting again and scoring. So Jenkins continues her hot hand now here in the third quarter with eight. And Laurel Highlands get a 24 point lead. Tony regaining control of this game. Yeah, and a nice little run here by the Lady Mustangs. And again, Defense leading into fast breaks on the other side. And a travel called there on the Quaker Valley side on Floro on her pass attempt up to Chapman. Yes. So if Laurel Highlands hangs on, Tony, they'll guarantee themselves at least two more games. Even if they would lose to Highlands coming up on Friday, they'd have an opportunity to play themselves into the state tournament early on next week. And they haven't made the state playoffs since 2004. And out in front getting... Foul there was Sumter. The foul's going to be on Thero. That's going to be her third. And again, a nice strong move there by Sumter to take the ball to the basket, pick up the foul. Non-shooting, Schwartzfeger to send it in. It was a little wide there. Harris was able to regain. Touch from Irwin back to Harris again between the circles. Now far side, Sumter was fronted there from Roig. And they'll send it back to Harris from the near wing, hitting another three. 
So Harris has drained five threes in this game. She has 19 points. Those are first three of the second half. 52-25 Mustangs. An offensive foul. That might be the fourth That's, there on Thero, Tony. That is going to be the fourth. They're going to call her for a push-off. So that's going to be her fourth foul, and that's huge. Coming with .9 left on the clock here in the third quarter. Right. Schwartzfeger just sends it in to Harris. She'll take a shot from just beyond midcourt. It comes up short. The Laurel Highlands in a very comfortable position. Up 27 at 52 to 25 after three. And we're back with a fourth and 60 here on the CR Brada Group High School Sports Night. The Laurel Highlands girls basketball boosters would like to wish head coach Stuart Davis and the Lady Mustangs the best of luck in the playoffs. The Laurel Highlands girls basketball boosters works year-round to fund the girls basketball program. The funds collected by the boosters help support trips and banquets held for the basketball team. To find out how you could help contact Becky Irwin, a special thank you to all of the businesses and individuals that have donated to the boosters over the years. Go Lady Mustangs! Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, start of the fourth quarter. Laurel Highlands leading Quaker Valley 52-25 to on the Quaker side. Tony looking at the scoring column. Thero has scored 17 of their 25 tonight. They've had only four players score. I guess the Mustangs only had four players score too, but they're in a better position up 27 on the scoreboard. Well, the Mustangs have two players with 19 each. So that's the difference in this game right now. They bust a three on this possession. Could actually have a running clock the rest of the way. Here's Schwartzfeger, back to Harris. In the corner, Jenkins will take the three and make the three, and there you go. Running clock the rest of the way. Jenkins now in double figures with 11. It's a 30-point. Laurel Highlands lead over Quaker Valley at 55-25 to with 7.32 left here in the fourth, and the Mustangs have just about punched their ticket now to the quarterfinals on Friday at Islands. Yeah, and this really is not what we expected here tonight, no. Brian. I thought this would be a much closer game, but I'll tell you what, the defense for the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs has really been the difference in this game. They have played fantastic on the defensive end. Yeah, that matchup with Highlands will be a rematch of a game between the two schools that was played up at Highlands a year ago in the first round of the WPIL playoffs. Golden Rams won that one by 20. little... Contact down low. Foul caught on the floor. I think they're going to get Anna Campbell there with her fourth. Yeah, and that's going to be her fourth is right. Again, just kind of slid in as Sumter tried to make a move. So now four fouls for her and for Thero. Schwartzfeger to send it in. And Harris coming free again. Hits another three. Boy, is she hot tonight. 22 for Maya Harris. And she's banged down. Six threes. And the Mustang. I want to save some of those for Friday, Tony. <laughs> well... Hopefully she can see the rim just as good as she's seen it here tonight yes. because I'll tell you what, she is on fire. I think she's only missed, what, two shots the whole game. This has been electric for Laurel Highlands. Thero triple teamed, able to fight it off and get the two to go. And Thero only a sophomore. You mentioned already getting Division I looks offer from, what, Duquesne, Tony? Duquesne and had Kentucky's it. talking to her. Of course, her brother, Adu, plays down there. Yeah, well, I <laughs> Put it this way, I wouldn't be surprised to see her go there. Yes. And plenty of time to decide. We'll have another two years of high school basketball. Then again, brother and sister, I'm sure they might fight a little bit too. Maybe she won't. Well, they don't even say their last name the same. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is true. Jumper right of the lane coming up short there. Harris, if you missed it during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show, Mimi's brother, Adu, goes by Thiero while... Sister Mimi goes by Thero. So, however you want to say it, Mimi has it right now. 58-27 <laughs> Laurel Highlands. 5-23 left here in the fourth. Well, the thing about Mimi is she's only going to get better, Brian. I, agree. I mean, she's a sophomore, and I'll tell you what, you can see that she's got a lot of talent. We talked about the growth spurt her brother had going from 5'8", his freshman year at Quaker Valley, to 6'10", now, his sophomore year at Kentucky. You wonder if Mimi has a couple of inches left in her as well. 
Tell you what, 6'4 already as a sophomore. Yeah, very impressive. Yeah, she's tough. She's got a nice game. The Mustangs in control here, rolling for Quaker Valley. Off to Anna Campbell, right of the lane. Swinging it back there to Thero. Thought about the three. Schwartzfeger in her face. Needs a little help. Five-second call on, barely getting it off there to Chapman. Chapman trying to spin off of Harris. Now backing off, looking for a little motion on the offensive side. Campbell dumped down. Thero leaning, getting the basket in one. Mimi Thero. Yeah, and Schwartfeger really couldn't do much there. I mean, as we said, she's done a fantastic job defensively. She probably has about 10 rebounds as well. 58-29 Mustangs. She's going to pick up her third foul, but not that it really matters at this stretch of the game. Heroes free throw attempt rattling out. Mimi scored 21 in this game for Quaker Valley. Maya Harris has scored 22 for Laurel Highlands. She'll bring it into the forecourt here for the Mustangs. Met with a double team. Off to Schwartzfeger on the far wing with Sumter setting the screen. Schwartzfeger now from the elbow. Needs help. Sends it in Sumter's direction. Lost it. Regains. Fights down low. Put it up. Shot attempt. No good. Thero had the rebound. Deflected away. Ruled off of Sumter going out. We'll head back over to Quaker Valley. Now under 3.50 to play here in this fourth quarter. And really, Stu Davis has to be extremely happy with the effort that his team has put forth here tonight. And a rare one and done for Quaker Valley. We mentioned they've played at least three playoff games each season over the last five years. There's going to be one here in 2024. And Laurel Highlands again picking up their first playoff win in the main draw since 1998. They had a couple of pigtail preliminary round playoff wins over Mars and Elizabeth Forward in 2011 and 2012. But as far as a main draw win, if you go back to 98, Tony, that's, what, 26 years. Yeah. It's been a while. Here's Irwin up top. Back between the circles to Sumter. Sumter right of the lane. Lost it. Regains. Over to Jenkins. Jenkins looking for a seam. A little bit of contact. She'll float it up and in. And Jenkins, who was held scoreless in the first half, coming alive here in the second half with 13 points. The Laurel Highlands lead up to 31 at 60 to 29 with 245 left here in the fourth. Well, we said both of these programs, O'Brien Young, you only have one senior on this Quaker Valley team, zero seniors on the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustang. So good, good sign of things to come here for both teams. An offensive foul call there on Quaker Valley. I think they called that on Roig. Oh, no, I take it back. They called it on Maggie Watson, who's checked in for the Quakers. And the Mustangs with 2.15. Left in the fourth, up 31. Just finishing this one off. Harris again. Harris penetrating, sitting in the corner there to Jenkins. Jenkins back on the inside. A little fade away, no good offensive rebound. Sumter getting the basket in. One. 21 for Sumter tonight. 21 and the fifth foul on Thero, who's going to foul out with a minute 51 to go here in this contest. After scoring 21 points. And she's back for another two seasons of high school hoops. And so much of that Quaker Valley offense going through Thero, who actually came into the game, Tony, accounting for 65% of their team scoring. Well, you know, you come in averaging 19.4 and 14 rebounds. And make 21 threes as well. Pretty good sophomore season. And a free throw attempt good there from Sumter. They'll check her out. She'll finish the game with 22 points. The Mustangs with Lola McClusack, another freshman. And we have a timeout, 147 left here in the fourth, 63-29. Mustangs are back at 60 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. We give them 172 multi-point inspection by Ford Certified Techs. Then you give them a new home. Hi, I'm Chuck Smith, General Manager here at Megan Ford, and I'm talking about our Blue Advantage Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. Go see our great selection of values on our website. Check out the free car facts reports and stop in and take a test drive. Hi, I'm Kevin Fike from Marthysburg. I've been selling Fords in the area for nearly 40 years and all of our gold certified vehicles come with a one year, 12,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, plus a seven year, 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. I've never seen a pre-owned sales program that gives you so much peace of mind. 
Call us today at 724-628-2720 or visit MegganFord.com. Route 119 Connorsville, near Sheep. Megan Ford, your friends in the car and truck business. Mara Highlands, a 63-29 lead over Quaker Valley. 141 left in regulation. Everyone's starting to pack up our ready tone. Billy took down our monitor already. He's ready to go. <laughs> well. Mustangs in control. There's a quick steal from Lowell McClusack as the Mustangs went to their bench. Touch from Harris. Center of the far side there to Isabella Paschke. Paschke and was a little hesitant. Yes. She should have taken that jumper. Get her name in the book. And Mustangs, for the most part this season, Tony, have played pretty much as Harris, Jenkins, Schwartzweger, Sumter, and Irwin. Richardson seen a little bit of time off the bench. That's pretty much been their rotation. Yeah, they really haven't gone very deep. Now everybody giving Madison Chapman a hug. Her, like we said, she's the only senior on this Quaker Valley team. You got a timeout, and that's only going to be for substitution purposes. So you're going to have Rachel Bartles checking in. She's going to check in for Anna Campbell. Both of these teams, young, as you mentioned, Laura Highlands, all underclassmen on their team, just the one senior on Quaker Valley's team. So... These two schools expected to be good over the next couple of years, and especially on the Laurel Highland side, you look at Jenkins, only a sophomore, Sumter a junior, Harris a junior, Schwartzfeger a freshman, Irwin a sophomore. You're starting five on the Laurel Highland side tonight. Again, credits to Davis. What a turnaround for this program. Here's Harris, steal off the inbounds, pass going right to the rack, laying it up and in. Maya Harris, 24 tonight, came into the game. Averaging just 12. She's doubled up her season average. And Laurel Highlands a 65-29 lead with 23 seconds left here in the fourth. Now when you make six threes in the game, that's what happens. Head coach Davis, Stu telling us during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show, it's rematch season, baby. <laughs> Gearing up for Highlands again on Friday. Well, Big for his program. Highlands comes in as the... Number four seed, it's 16 and six. They got to buy the first Correct. round. Correct, and that's one of those seeding as the ball goes out of bounds. That'll do it, 65-29. Could have went either way. He could have given the Mustangs the four and Highlands the five. Actually, when Billy did the seeding projections in the bracketology last week, he had Laura Highlands as the four. But congratulations to the Mustangs, their first main draw WPIL playoff win since 1998. Again, they won a couple of pigtail games in the early 2010s, but really doing something here in 2024, improving to 19 and 2 on the season. Quaker Valley, their season ends at 5 and 16. The Mustangs a 65-29 win tonight. We're back to tell you all about it on our post-game show. Brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Comes your way next year on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. This is Charity Grim Krupa, State Representative for the 51st District. I want to wish all of our local teams the best of luck in the WPIAL basketball playoffs. I also want to invite you to our Hard to Read License Plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, we can help you fill out the paperwork for a free replacement. I will also be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. I hope to see you there. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and it's not available in all Chris Parker Jr., what's going on for February at Auto Land Hyundai? Well, this year's leap year. There's President's Day, and don't forget Valentine's Day. 
Interest rates have been high, but you'll love this. 0% financing available on 2024 Tucson's and new 2023 Santa Fe. Or up to $9,000 savings off select all-wheel drive Santa Fe. And here's another sweetheart of a deal. Lease a 2024 Elantra SC for only $199 per month. Just see us for details. What else do you have going on? Well, President's Day reminds us of great leadership. Just as Hyundai leads the way by offering Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000 miles limited powertrain protection. And leap year is an extra day. So with Hyundai's sales event cash, you'll save an extra $1,000 on all new remaining 2023 Hyundai. Plus three years, 36,000 miles, free complimentary maintenance. Visit their website, autolandhyundai.com or stop by their location, 25 East Fayette Street in Union Town. And remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Our versatility, combined with our personalized approach, is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Laurel Highlands, a 65-29 first-round playoff win over Quaker Valley tonight. Back here in our post-game show, brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside of the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Tony has your final stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County. All right, for the victorious Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs, who improved at 19-2 overall, they were led tonight by Maya Harris, who had 24 points, six made threes on the game. She was followed by Ariana Sumter, who had 22 Ayara Jenkins had 13, all coming in the second half, and six points on two made threes by Taylor Irwin in that second quarter. 15 in the first, 20 in the second, 17 in the third, 13 in the fourth for their total of 65. Eight for eight from the foul line here tonight, and they had nine made threes, six by Harris, two by Irwin, and one by Jenkins. On the other side, the Quaker Valley Quakers, who dropped to five and 16 on the year, they were led by Thierro, who had 21 points, a made three by Madison Chapman, a made three by Anna Campbell, and a basket by Lily Millett for their total of 29. They scored 11 in the first, three in the second, 11 in the third, and only four points in the fourth for their total of 29. Five for 11 from the foul line, and they had four made threes, two by Thierro, one by Chapman and one by Anna Campbell. So our Highlands a 65-29 win over Quaker Valley tonight. The Mustangs will take on Highlands in the quarterfinal round coming up on Friday. And we're back with a final word from Laurel Highlands High School right after this in our Peach and Pharmacy postgame show on WMBS. The Davis and Davis Law Firm has been helping injured people in Fayette County for over 45 years. If you've been injured and you need an attorney, call today. One of our six attorneys will come and meet with you if your situation is such that you can't come to us. We will not rest until we get the maximum amount of money for you that you deserve. I'm attorney James Davis, and I will fight for you. Call me today at 724-437-2799.
looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning extends his best wishes to the Uniontown Red Raiders and Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs in the WPIAL playoffs. District Judge Nathan Henning recognizes that a successful season requires teamwork. It is a result of the hard work of the players and coaches and the support of their families. Good luck to the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs from District Judge Nathan Henning, who is proud to support you. Hey, you looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? Well, look no more. Because with over 200 vehicles, Gary's Auto Sales is the largest used car dealer in the area. Whether you want a car, a truck, or an SUV, you'll absolutely find what you're looking for at Gary's. Gary's has been in business since 1974. You can visit them online at garysautosales.com. Or you can give them a call at 724-626-8080. Gary's Auto Sales. Many miles, many smiles. Back here wrapping things up from Laurel Highlands. Good Science. times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. This is Charity Grim Krupa, State Representative for the 51st District. I want to wish all of our local teams the best of luck in the WPIAL basketball playoffs. I also want to invite you to our Hard to Read License Plate event on Saturday, March 9th from 10 to 2 at Fayette Recycling on Romeo Lane in Uniontown. If your license plate is unreadable, we can help you fill out the paperwork for a free replacement. I will also be holding a free shredding event at Fayette Recycling on Friday, April 26th from 11 to 2. I hope to see you there. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare. Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Back wrapping things up here at Laurel Highlands High School. The Laurel Highlands Lady Mustangs, a 65-29 win over Quaker Valley tonight. Laurel Highlands will take on Highlands on Friday. And Tony more playoff hoops on WMBS tomorrow. Boys 4A quarterfinal round action. Uniontown taking on North Catholic at Norwin High School. The Catholic, always a tough test for the Red Raiders, as you said, they split their series last year, one in the state playoffs and one in the uh, WPL playoffs where North Catholic won in the WPLs, Unitown in the states. But uh, tell you what, they're going to have their hands full tomorrow. You know that they're always well-coached, well-disciplined team. So hopefully the Red Raiders can win and get yourself a game on Saturday. On the Earth, our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show tomorrow at 7, 10, opening tip-off set for 8 o'clock at Norwin High School. And Tony, I enjoyed working with you again tonight. It's always fun, Brian. Again, have to thank Billy Dice behind the camera. Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis and Davis. Attorneys at Law Studios. Again, your final score, Laurel Highlands 65, Quaker Valley 29. The Mustangs advance to take on Highlands in the quarterfinals coming up on Friday. This is Brian Morozak. You have yourselves a pleasant good evening. For attorney